hello everyone uh, today uh, in this video we are going to discuss uh, one of the sorting algorithm that is a uh, bubble sort algorithm uh, we will discuss a bubble sort algorithm in detail with one example in our today's video so let us start our today's video on bubble sort algorithm so uh, first of all we will discuss one example so that you can easily understand what is exactly the concept of bubble sort so uh, before starting of uh, example uh, i would like to uh, mention here is in bubble sort total uh, n minus 1 passes will be there and here n is nothing but number of elements for example in our array we have stored for example 5 elements then uh, n is equal to 5 and total number of passes will be n minus 1 uh, that is a 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 so let us take one example so that you can easily understand what is exactly the concept of bubble sort. For example, we have uh, uh, five different elements like 5, 4, 3, 1 and 2. These all are the different five elements are there we have stored in one array. Right. So uh, there will be total n minus 1 passes. So there will be total of uh, four uh, different passes. Out of these four, uh, this is the example of our first pass. Right. So let us discuss uh, in a first pass what exactly uh, bubble sort uh, will do. Uh, in our first pass, uh, as per the concept of bubble sort, bubble sort uh, will make a pair of number and uh, will check uh, first number with the second number. If first number is larger than the second one, then we'll perform interchange between these two number. Then again, we'll uh, find the next pair of number. Uh, then again, next pair of uh, number until we get last number. Right, so there will be total uh, uh, n minus uh, one pair, and there will be total uh, n minus one uh, passes. So let us discuss. For example, uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, our first pair is first number and second number. So first number will be compared with the second number. In this case, our first number is larger than the second one. So uh, your bubble sort will interchange both the number. So uh, five will be shifted below, and four will be shifted above. So that our next uh, uh, list will be 4, 5, uh, 3, 1 and 2, right? So remaining element 3, 1, 2 will be as it is. Now next step is uh, in same pass we have to identify second pair. So our second pair is uh, uh, second element and third element. So again we'll compare uh, second element that is a 5 with 3, whether 5 is greater than the 3 or not. Yes, so 5 is greater than the 3, so that again will interchange both the number. Uh, so 3 will be shifted above and 5 will be shifted below. So next uh, uh, list of elements will be 4, 5, uh, 4, 3, 5, 1 and 2. Right? Then find out the next pair of uh, number that is our uh, third element and fourth element. Here the third element is 5 and fourth element is 1. So again we have to compare 5 with uh, uh, 1 whether 5 is greater than the 1 or not. Yes, so 5 is greater than 1. So again we will interchange both the number. Uh, 1 will be shifted above and 5 will be shifted below. So that our next uh, list will be 4, 3, 1, 5 and 2. Then again find the next pair of uh, number. Uh, this is our uh, fourth number and fifth number. Again check. Uh, our uh, fourth number with the uh, fifth one, uh, 5 is uh, greater than the 2, so we'll uh, interchange both the number. 2 will be shifted above and 5 will be shifted below. So we can get uh, a final list uh, 4, 3, 1, 2 and 5. Then after we cannot uh, make a pair, so that maximum pair in this case possible is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So how many comparisons uh, uh, possible in this case? Uh, 4 uh, different comparison is possible. It means that in our first pass total n minus 1 comparison is possible. Let us uh, start our second uh, pass now. After that we have to apply second pass on uh, this number only. Uh, once we check uh, this list uh, uh, after the first pass then we can say that at the end of the pass 1 5 is at correct position so 5 is on correct position so every time after completion of a pass uh, one uh, number will be on correct position so in this case our 5 is on correct position so let us start our second uh, pass uh, in the uh, second pass uh, we have to apply second pass on uh, on this uh, list of number only so that we can apply 4 3 1 2 and 5 uh, as an input to our second pass 
again same process uh, we will do we have to make a pair of uh, number and we have to compare uh, whether first number is greater than the second or not so uh, this is the first pair that is a 4 and 3 and we have to check first number 4 is greater than the 3 or not yes the 4 is greater than the 3 so that uh, both will be interchanged both will be swapped so 3 will be shifted above and 4 will be shifted below so that next list will be 3 4 1 2 and 5 find out next pair of uh, number so uh, it will be uh, a, a second number and third number then again check our second number 4 is greater than the uh, our third number 1 or not yes so 4 is greater than the 1 so we will interchange both the number uh, 1 will be shifted above 4 will be shifted below uh, so that we will have our next list that is a 3 1 4 2 and 5 and our next pair will be uh, 4 and 2 same uh, condition here 4 is greater than the 2 so again we will interchange both the number and we can get a uh, final list that is 3 1 2 4 and 5 now after completion of your second pass your uh, uh, 4 will be on correct position so we have already uh, we have a uh, two number 5 and 4 are on correct position so now onwards uh, we will not uh, touch uh, both the number because uh, these both are on correct position now apply our uh, third pass uh, in that we have to uh, pass this list of number as a uh, input so let us start our uh, uh, third pass so before that uh, here you have to understand that how many comparisons uh, we did in our second pass first one two three comparison we did in our first pass uh, we did a one two three and four comparison it means that in first pass we uh, we have n minus one comparison uh, in a second pass we have a n minus two comparison let us uh, start our th third pass in the third pass we have uh, this list of number again we have to uh, follow the same process we have to make a pair so first element and second element we have to compare third with uh, th uh, number three with uh, one and three is greater than the one so we'll uh, interchange both so one will be shifted above and three will be shifted below and we can get this list one three two four and five find out next pair of number so it will be our second number and third number so again 3 is greater than the 2 so 2 will be shifted above and uh, 3 will be shifted below so we can get our final uh, list that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 right uh, this both the number we have already uh, uh, this both the numbers are already in correct position 5 4 and now 3 is also on correct position right so uh, how many comparisons we did in uh, third pass 1 and 2 only so it means that n minus 3 comparison we did uh, in our third pass okay so uh, let us discuss last pass that is our fourth pass uh, we have to pass this list of number as an input uh, and we have to follow same process we have to compare first element with the second element our first element is one and second element is two the one is not greater than the two so condition is false uh, so we are not going to interchange both this number so then we can find a second pair but uh, three is one already on correct correct position right so similarly two is on correct position one is on correct position and we are getting list of number into ascending order right this is all about uh, a bubble sort algorithm uh, as we can see here in a last pass uh, we have only one comparison right in our first pass we have n minus 1 comparison in our second pass we have n minus 2 comp comparison and similarly at the last uh, we have only one comparison in fourth pass right so let us start now uh, how we can find time complexity of uh, a bubble sort algorithm in terms of order as we already discussed in our first pass uh, we have n minus 1 comparisons in second pass we have n minus 2 comparison similarly uh, in kth pass we have a n minus k comparisons and as we already discussed uh, the last pass required only one comparison right so just add this all the values n minus 1 plus n minus 2 up to the plus 1 so that we can get one formula f of n is equal to n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 plus uh, up to the plus 1 right and this same formula we can write uh, uh, like uh, n into n minus 1 divided by 2 once we solve this uh, equation then we can get uh, n square uh, divided by 2 minus n divided by 2 
in this case uh, highest for uh, highest power is n square and uh, we are ignoring 1 by 2 because 1 by 2 is a constant then we can get time complexity order of n square because n square is the highest power right so finally we can say bubble sort has a time complexity t of n belongs to order of n square right so uh, now let us discuss uh, algorithm uh, of bubble sort as we discuss uh, uh, any uh, algorithm is a one function so for example bubble sort is one function in that we are passing a list of element as a argument so one array we are passing and this n is nothing but length of the array or we can say number of element of the array right now uh, inside this uh, uh, bubble sort algorithm we have a two loop one is uh, outer loop i is equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus this outer loop basically for the different passes right so this i loop will be for the different passes and as we discussed it is uh, uh, in our bubble sort n minus 1 passes are there now inside the uh, uh, outer loop we have a inner loop j is equal to 0 j less than n minus i minus 1 j plus plus so we discussed that uh, in our first pass uh, we have n minus 1 comparison uh, then after in a second pass we have a n minus 2 comparison right so likewise uh, we can have a number of comparison because here the condition is j less than n minus i minus 1 right so when the i is equal to 0 we can say the first pass at that time uh, the inner loop will be uh, executed j less than n minus 0 minus 1 so it is a n minus 1 time so there will be n minus 1 comparison in second pass when the value of i is equal to 1 at that time j less than n minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 so there will be n minus 2 comparison likewise in third pass we have n minus 3 comparison and at the end we have only one comparison and to compare two element uh, here we have one condition if a of j greater than a of j plus 1 this is the first element and j plus 1 is our second element so first element will be compared with the second element if first element is larger than the second element then we have to perform swapping operation then we have to uh, interchange the uh, elements how we can interchange we have to just take one temporary variable temp is equal to a of j so we are storing value of a of j first element inside the temp and then uh, we are storing uh, value of second element in first element and uh, value of first element which is available in our temp variable will be stored inside the a of j plus 1 or we can say in our second element so it is nothing it just uh, uh, interchange the uh, values uh, which we have uh, defined as a pair right so uh, this is all about a uh, bubble sort algorithm right i hope uh, you understood uh, how uh, bubble sort uh, work and how your algorithm can convert list of random number into the ascending order again i am repeating here the time complexity of bubble sort algorithm is t of n belongs to order of n square thank you uh, thank you very much